हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक स्टॉर्क इनामिन सिंथेसिस बिफोर वी डिस्कस अबाउट स्टॉर्क इनामिन सिंथेसिस वी फर्स्ट नीड टू नो व्हाट इज इनामिन व्हाट इज इनामिन्स एंड सेकंड हाउ टू मेक इट नाउ we take a carbonyl compound and it contains one alpha hydrogen at least one alpha hydrogen and followed by two degree amine that is secondary amine you can also use primary on primary amine also here this lone pair of nitrogen it attacks here and this opened up we get here oh and here addition of in our two group now after removing water molecule this when this falls here so after removing water we get alpha beta unsaturated compound that is here it is alpha here it is beta so it is alpha beta unsaturated amine this is an amine so an amine is a unsaturated compound that derived from aldehyde or ketone and secondary amine now 1 degree amine also form enamines when this aldehyde treatment with this is primary amine so after attacking we get a system like this one that it is nrh removing water molecule then it forms also alpha beta unsaturated amine that is also it is an amine but this system it will further totemization to give because here this hydrogen falls here and it opens up so we get a system like this one this is imine like structure this is the structure of imine so enamines is a unsaturated compound by the treatment of aldehyde or ketone and by using secondary amine or you can use primary amine also now go to now let us go to the topic that is stork enamine synthesis
here it is unsaturated bond so when an enamine this is enamine reacts with an acyl halide or alkyl halide then conjugation here when this lone pair of nitrogen atom falls here this attacks here and finally chlorine removed from this system as a living group so we get here it is positive charge and this carbon attached to this acyl group after treatment with water molecule this can attack here sorry for that this is more reactive here this is del plus this is more reactive so this can attack here this opened up so we get here remain it, it is same and here addition of OH now again this can abstract this photon after taking this photon it falls here and it's opened up so finally we get here is ketone so we get acyl ketone so finally this is carbon acylated this is carbon so this is carbon acylated this is the major product so it's called enamine synthesis it is when an enamines reacts with an acyl halide or you can use alkyl, alkyl halide whatever and it gives a corresponding product like that after attacking water molecule we get this system and when base takes this photon to give this ketone and this is carbon acylated this is major product here another possibility when this nitrogen lone pair of nitrogen atom it can attack it's directly attack to this center then what happen so in this system in this synthesis nitrogen acylated or acylation also possible because this double one remains same and here nitrogen coordinated with this acyl group and it is positive charge but this is an acylated acylated product but this is not a stable structure so finally this can again attack with enamine then when lone pair of nitrogen falls here this can attack here and finally this open and reverse back 
to open this system so finally we get that this is positive charge and a double bond and here this carbon attached to this acyl group and corresponding this one give by I mean so this is also carbon so it is carbon acylated aluminium salt after hydrolysis treatment with water then it give ketone like structure so this is the major product so stork enamine synthesis it is a process when enamines this enamines reacts with acyl halide or alkyl halide then the product is carbon acylated not nitrogen acylated because nitrogen acylated this is not a stable structure this is not a stable structure because enamines again attacks this center to give finally carbon acylated product thanks for watching